Lake Vostok is, is a unique environment on Earth. It's a big lake of liquid water about the size of Lake Ontario under more than two miles of ice in the heart of the Antarctic. It's a lake that has been separated from the atmosphere and life on Earth for millions of years, going its own way, and we want to know what's down there. NASA has several interests in this lake. One is it may be an analog to the conditions on a place like Jupiter's moon Europa, which has a thick icy crust and liquid water underneath, where we might someday like to send probes. It also represents a very interesting research for studying life on Earth because this water has been going its own way for millions of years. We don't know what's in there that's alive, and we don't know how it may have evolved, and it's going to be really fascinating exploration to get down there. There are many icy moons in the solar system, and some of them are thought to have liquid water below the ice. Europa, however, is the only one where the, the ice is only a few miles thick, so perhaps that's the closest analog to Lake Vostok. The Russians have been doing this project for 20 years. They finally reached the lake, and that's exciting for scientists everywhere. NASA is certainly interested in the results, although we're not directly involved. One of the interesting questions is whether the Russians can get to the lake and sample the lake without also contaminating it with material from the drill. And they're taking special precautions on that, but, but scientists all over the world are anxious to see how they will do it. They are apparently going to let some of the water come up into the drill hole and freeze and then go down there the next Arctic summer to that frozen water and analyze that before they think about going into the liquid itself. It's really exciting for astrobiologists for two reasons. One, it may give us a hint of how we can search for life elsewhere, like Jupiter's moon Europa. And secondly, it gives us a window on a possible biosphere on Earth that's different from anything we have sampled before. We're talking about pure exploration here, going to an environment unlike any we've ever seen before. Maybe it'll be dull, but usually when we go somewhere new, we find new things, perhaps things that are very interesting for the life on Earth and the way it evolves.